Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carmen. Welcome. Hey guys, so I wanted to make this quick video today due to the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and to take a look at her energies and the numbers in her chart to see exactly why she passed away during this moment in time. And we're also going to take a look at the charts of the United Kingdom as well as King Charles and Prince William to just see what the future has in store for the monarchy of the United Kingdom. So numerology also reveals the future of the United Kingdom and the monarchy and who will be king and when exactly that will happen today in this video. And I do want to send my love and blessings and condolences to all of my viewers in the United Kingdom as well as anybody else who is mourning the passing of the Queen at this time. And for those who did not like the Queen, I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but let's be respectful of other people's feelings because there are a lot of people who are mourning her passing at this time. And to calculate the UK's chart, I use the official name United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And according to Google, it was founded in 1922 with the inclusion of Northern Ireland. And there is not an official day, okay? So there is no official birthday for the UK. So we were not able to calculate the full entire chart, right? Because for the life path number and some of the other numbers, some of the timing numbers, you need to have the birthday and we don't have that. But we were able to calculate some very important numbers by just using the name. Now, for Queen Elizabeth, King Charles, and Prince William, we used the official names that are on their birth certificates, okay? So, for Queen Elizabeth, the official name on her birth certificate is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary. For King Charles, the official name on his birth certificate is Charles Philip Arthur George. And the official name on Prince William's birth certificate is... His Royal Highness Prince William Arthur Philip Louis. So let's take a look at the UK's chart first. We don't have the cycles in the pinnacles because we don't have the official birth date of the UK, but we do know what the essences are because we have the name. And the essences are kind of like, they're similar to pinnacles because they're like seasons that you go through, but they're more sporadic. And in 2021, the UK entered a seven essence. And from what I've heard from a lot of my subscribers, there was a lot of lockdowns and a lot of isolation during that year in 2021. So that makes sense because seven is a very, you know, it, it can be a very private kind of isolating kind of energy because it's all about going within and having, you know, introspection, right? But in 2022, it entered a master 11 essence. And 11 is the number of illumination. And so when you're in 11 energy, spotlight is all on you, right? It's all about the spotlight, bringing awareness to certain things. And it can be a very challenging energy because it is a master number. And that is definitely the situation with uh, the UK in the year 2022. The spotlight is definitely all on them right now, right? Because not only have they lost their queen who was, you know, on the throne for 70 years, but they also... Uh, had a change in leadership among their prime minister, right? So they have a brand new prime minister also. So a lot of challenges this year for the UK because of being in this master 11 essence. And definitely the spotlight is all on them this year for sure, right? But in 2023, they enter an eight essence and eight is the number of wealth, abundance, and resources. And there often is some sort of struggle with resources or some sort of challenge that is presented to you when you enter an eight essence or an eight pinnacle. So there could be some sort of struggle or challenge with resources at the end of 2022 and at least at the beginning of 2023 as they transition into the eight essence. But I will say that better times are ahead for the UK after they get over whatever challenge or struggle is presented to them within the eight essence because eight is the number of wealth and abundance and they have more eight essences coming up 
in the year 2027 and 2028. So let's take a look at Queen Elizabeth's chart now. And as you can see, she was a life path seven. And the life path number is your main lesson that you are working on while you are down here. Seven is a very spiritual, introspective kind of number. It can be very private. And she definitely was all of those things, right? She was the head of the Church of England, and it's reported that she was a very religious person. So very spiritual, very religious, but uh, also very private too, right? Because it's an introspective energy. It's all about going within. And she projected herself like that to the world as well, because seven is also her personality number, also known as the inner dreams number. But she was also seen as being a very kind, caring, motherly type of figure as well. And that's demonstrated in her soul urge number, which is a number nine. And nine is the number of humanitarianism and helping humankind. So take a look down at her pinnacles. The pinnacles are kind of like the seasons of your life, spring, summer, winter, and fall. She entered her final pinnacle in 1974, and that was a four pinnacle. And she's been in the four energy ever since then. And four can be a difficult energy to be in because it is the number of work and achievement and putting in all the time and effort it takes to achieve things. So people often will become workaholics when they are in four energy. And uh, they can feel very challenged at times, too, being in this kind of energy. And, you know, she worked pretty much up until, you know, the age of 96. So this makes sense for her, right? I think it was reported that she worked almost up until the, la the last day that she passed away. So Four Pinnacle definitely makes sense as to why she continued to work up until such an old age, right? So now take a look at her essences. The essences are kind of like pinnacles. They're like seasons as well, but they're more sporadic. And they are calculated from the transits within your name. And she entered a Master 22 essence in 2021. So I could see why, uh, you know, that might have been a difficult year for her because 22 is, you know, similar to the four energy. If you add the two twos together, you get a four. It's a variation of the number four. So it can be a difficult energy and it's a number of rebuilding, right? So basically having to rebuild your life from the ground up. And that was the year that her husband passed away. So makes sense, right? And master numbers are always more challenging energies to be in for sure. Now in 2022, as you can see from the chart, she entered a nine essence. And nine is considered to be the final number in numerology. Okay, the master numbers 11, 22, and 33, they're not considered the final numbers because they're variations of other numbers, right? 11 is a variation of 2 and 22 is a variation of 4. 9 is considered to be the final number and it represents completion and transcendence, right? And people often feel as though things in their life come to an end once they move into a 9 essence or a 9 pinnacle. And as if, you know, things that they have been working on are finally completed. And that's exactly what happened here, right? That's exactly what happened. Her soul's contract was completed and she graduated, right? I don't like to see it as that her life came to an end. She graduated because she's still alive, but she has transcended into a much better place than this physical world that we are in, right? So I'm not surprised to see the nine essence popping up there. And um, it doesn't always predict death, so I don't want people to start freaking out and start worrying. And, you know, if you have a nine essence or a nine pinnacle, it can predict a lot of other things too, such as starting a family and having children. So it doesn't always predict death. It's just in this situation, it does reveal the graduation and the transcendence that took place of Queen Elizabeth's contract, basically. But now let's find out what the future has in store for the British monarchy because the UK has a brand new king. And let's take a look at his chart. As you can see, he's a life path number 11. And I did mention in my previous video last week that I did about um, leadership and how to find out if you are a leader in the new earth, that 11 is one of the leadership numbers. And I actually said in that video that a lot of presidents and leaders of countries or kings and queens will have this number. And as you can see, King Charles and Prince William are both life path number 11s. And it's the double ones in the 11 that make it why we so often see leaders with 11s in their chart. Because one is the number of the leader, right? 
it's the number of the person that does something first and then shows other people the way. So, um, and um, as you can see, he is now in a 22 master number 22 cycle too. And the cycles are kind of like the sections of the book, right? So think of it as like the first part of a book, there's the middle part of a book, and then there's the ending of the book. And that is the book of your life. And those are the cycles. And I also mentioned in that leadership video that Master 22 is one of the leadership numbers as well. And a lot of really big things can happen when you're in a master number cycle, pinnacle, essence, or personal year number. Okay, really big things like becoming famous or getting elected or becoming a king. <laughs> so it's things like that can hap that can happen when you're in this kind of energy. And he entered this master 22 cycle in 2001. So, and he's going to be in this 22 energy going forward for the rest of his life. In addition to that, he's in a six pinnacle as well. And six is another one of the leadership numbers that I mentioned in that video, <laughs> because six is a number of responsibility and it's a very parental kind of energy. So, um, and it's, it's a number of family and community as well. So it has a very responsible kind of energy. And so he is in double leadership energy, right? Because he'll be in this six pinnacle uh, continuing forward for the rest of his life as well. But in addition to all of that, in 2022, he entered a five essence. And five is a number of change and transformation. There can be a lot of big changes that happen when you move into five energy. And he has definitely had the biggest change of his whole entire life this year, becoming the new king of the United Kingdom. But in addition to that, he's also having a master number 22 personal year. Okay, so as I mentioned before, <laughs> another leadership number and big things such as, you know, becoming a king, that kind of thing can happen when you're in, when you're having like a master number personal year or in the master number energy. And it's double for him. Remember, he's in a 22 cycle and he's having a master number 22 year. So a lot of big energy happening for him this year. So I could see why things happen the way they did this year. And going forward though, um, he is going to be in the sixth pinnacle going forward for the continuation of his life. Six is the number of family responsibility. It's also the number of health and healing too, right? In astrology, the sixth house is the, is the house of health. So six is the number of health and sometimes health problems can pop up when you're in a sixth pinnacle, right? There can be a big focus on some sort of health issue coming up and then you kind of having to figure out how to heal it. And so that could be the case for him, not only because he's in a six pinnacle, but because if you look at the chart of the UK, in 2024 and 2025, they're gonna be in a five essence. So more big changes coming their way, right? Because like I said, five is the number of change and transition. So we could see more changes coming. Charles will probably be bringing about a lot of these changes himself because he has indicated that he wants to do things differently and wants to bring about a lot of change to the monarchy. So he'll be bringing about a lot of these himself, but then there could also just be changes within more leadership, right? And also because in 2026, the UK will be entering a nine essence. And remember, nine is the number of completion and graduation and things coming to an end. So it could be around that time that his, you know, his uh, rule, his reign comes to an end um, around 2025 to 2026. So the UK's chart in terms of essences are showing a change happening at that time. But also if you look at the chart of Prince William, we see some sort of a change happening at that time as well. Because if you look at Prince William's pinnacles, in 2026, he enters an eight pinnacle. And eight represents wealth, abundance, power, and status. So usually there will be some sort of an increase in status when you move into an eight pinnacle or an eight essence. And um, so that could definitely be the case for him where he moves up in status, right? Around that time, moving from being the Prince of Wales to now becoming the, you know, the next king. Um, and also, in addition to that, in 2025, he moves into a five essence. So very similar to the UK's chart, because UK is going to be having a five essence that year as well. 
And five is the number of big changes, right? Big change and transformation. And he's going to be having a nine personal year, the number of endings and completion. So something could be coming to an end again in that year, in 2025, right? Where um, something comes to an end and then the next year something starts, something new begins. And the very next year, in 2026, he moves into a six essence. And like I said, six is a number of responsibility, right? It's the number of duty. It's the number of family. It's the number of community. If you look at Prince William's chart, in 2022, he entered a six essence, and he's also having a six year. So, and, you know, it makes sense, right, that now heavy duty is being put on him. He already has a lot on his plate in terms of you know, his duty and his responsibilities, but <laughs> with the passing of the queen and his father becoming the king, this um, duty and responsibility has definitely tripled, quadrupled, right? And he's feeling that now, right? He At some point, he will feel that during the year. And um, we see that in the double energy of the six essence and the six year that he's having in 2022. So a lot of responsibility just, you know, being put on his plate this year. Also, there can be issues that come up with the family when you're in the six energy, when you enter a six year or six essence. So it's like, it's all about the family this year for him, right? <laughs> in 2022, being in that six essence and that six personal year. But then if you look down further at his chart in 2026, he moves into a six essence again and he will be having a one personal year, right? It will be the very first year of his eight pinnacle. And one is another leadership number, right? One is the number of the leader and um, the person that um, is number one, right? So him being in um, a one year in an eight pinnacle, which is the number of power and status, and in a six essence, which is the number of duty and responsibility and the community and the family, it definitely indicates that he could become the king and ascend to the throne in 2026. Now, it could also happen in 2025 since there's going to be an ending and some sort of big change that happens that year. But uh, yeah, either one of those years, 2025 or 2026, are definitely indicative of this. And, you know, and we see this within the UK's chart. Remember, there's some sort of big change and ending coming up that year as well. Um, but also, if you look at King Charles's chart, right, he's in the Six Pinnacle, and uh, there can be health problems that come up when, you, when you're in a Six Pinnacle, as I had mentioned before. But not only that, in 2025, he enters a Four Essence. And like I said, Four, is it can be a very challenging energy to be in because it's a number of work. And um, there can be challenges that pop up when you're in Four Energy. The Queen passed away in a Nine Essence, but she was having a Four Personal Year and in a four pinnacle. So there could be challenges that pop up in regards to his health around that time, 2025, 2026. Now, hopefully that is not the case. Hopefully he will live a very long life and live to a very old age, right? Even if you don't like him, you don't wish anything bad on anybody. That energy comes back to you very, very fast when you do that. So let's just send him love and abundance and pray for him to have a very long life, right? God save the king. Let him live a very, very long life. Let's send out that positive energy. Now for Prince William, like I said, 2025, 2026, those are going to be big years when, when that could happen for him when he ascends to the throne. But there are multiple timelines for everything, right? And if we send out that positive energy and prayers for the current king, then we can always shift on to different timelines. And if that's the case, then William could become the king in 2033. Because in 2033, he's going to be having an eight personal year. It will be the eighth year of his eight pinnacle. And remember, eight is the number of power and status. So a lot of, you know, a lot of that eight energy going to be happening in 2033 with the eight year in an eight pinnacle. So there could definitely be an increase in status and power at that time where he ascends the throne and becomes the king in or around the year 2033 instead. So, but whatever the case is for him, leadership and power, status, that is definitely in his future for sure, being in the eight pinnacle going forward from 2026 and onward, right? And being the master number 11. 
And he's going to bring about a lot of changes to the monarchy when he becomes the king, right? That's his destiny, right? Because his destiny is the number five. Five is the number of change. So he's going to transform the monarchy in ways that we can't even perceive of right now. And he might transform it into something very different than what we currently see. And this will definitely be a continuation of some of the changes that his father, Charles, brings about. Because, as I had mentioned before from looking at the UK's chart, Charles is going to be bringing about a lot of change as well. So let us know in the comments below what you think the future of the British monarchy is. Let us know. And send positive energy and love to all the viewers in the UK because they are experiencing a lot of transition and change during this time. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with other people. It really helps to get the information out there when you do that. And I do spend a lot of time making these videos for you guys. A lot, a lot, a lot of time. And if you want to get a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, starsalignwithcarmen.com. I would love to have you subscribe and become part of the family. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.